Hey guys, what's up? Recently Apple released iOS 16.2 and surprisingly, this version is compatible with the Pangu jailbreak. As you can see here, I am able to install and access Cydia on my iOS 16.2 device. By the end of this video, I will also show you how to install tweaks, like installing a cool sidebar launcher like this, or changing the fonts of your iDevice like this. I will also show you a tweak to install this cool battery notch which changes in bar and color based on your battery percentage, or when your mobile is on charging. You can even install a lot of cool themes using Cydia. This method is 100% secure and working great even with the latest iPhone 14 lineups. You will get untethered Cydia meaning the Cydia will work even after rebooting your iDevice. So you won't need to re-jailbreak it again and again. So, without any further delay, let's get right into the method. Let me show you the current version of iOS installed on my iPhone 14. Alright guys, as you can see, it's the latest iOS 16.2. Before jailbreak, you need to first go to Find My App, then go to Me tab and turn off this option, which is Share My Location. Also make sure you have more than 50% battery and a decent internet connection. Now open up Safari browser and then go to this website, iospangu.com. Make sure you visit the correct link. I will add this link in the first comment below. So, this is how the website looks like. What you need to do is click on this download button right here. Now, there is a social locker. To be able to proceed to next step, you need to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or share this website on Facebook or Twitter. It's all up to you. I will demonstrate how to do YouTube subscribe here. So, click on this YouTube icon and you will be redirected to a YouTube channel. First, click on this subscribe button and make sure to turn the notification on to all. Once everything is done, go back to the browser and, you should see the download button has been unlocked. The website will then ask you to install Pango configuration profile. So click on allow button. Then go to home page. Now you have to open up your iPhone settings app. Now go to general settings, then go to profiles option and proceed to install the downloaded Pango profile. Just follow the instructions on screen and you should have the Pango profile installed without any issues. Now go back to home page and you should see Pango right here. Go ahead and open it up. Here, it will show you the current iOS version running on my phone. Finally, click on this jailbreak button. Alright guys, Pangu has begun the jailbreaking process and it should take around 2 to 3 minutes to complete the process. So, I am going to just fast forward this part. Alright guys, the process is almost done. And there it is, jailbreak has been completed and now it's giving me option to install Cydia. So just go ahead and choose the option to install Cydia. Then go back to home screen and you will see Cydia being installed on your device. And it has been installed successfully. That's all guys, this is how you can easily jailbreak iOS 16.2 and install Cydia. You can proceed to install iOS 16 compatible tweaks with Cydia now. Please note that not all tweaks are yet compatible with iOS 16. But as the jailbreak has been finally arrived on iOS 16, you should soon see a lot of compatible tweaks in Cydia. Let me go ahead and install some tweaks to demonstrate the process, which is Rofi. Rofi is an app launcher tweak. It's simple, easy to use, and accessible from everywhere. Once the tweak is installed, just respring the device and then unlock your iPhone. Alright guys, as you can see, this tweak has enabled a side app launcher icon for me. You can customize the number of apps per page, you can add as many apps as you want, you can scroll through if you have more apps than can be shown. Let's go ahead and install one more tweak. Let's change the font of my iPhone. For this, go to search tab and search for this tweak, which is a font. Make sure you type the tweak name correctly, which is a hyphen font. Now go to modify tab and choose install option. Once the download process is completed, click on this option to respring your device. That's it. As you can see, the font on my iPhone 13 has been changed now. You can change the font style you want from settings. Let's try one final tweak with Cydia. Here, I will install a really cool tweak known as Battery Notch. This tweak will allow you to represent the battery percentage around the notch using a thin colored line. It has a lot of cool features like an option to choose a fixed color, 
or have it automatically changed from green to yellow to red as the battery drains. It has lot of other cool features also. You can even go ahead and hide the stock battery indicator and use the battery notch only. Once it's installed, you need to respring the device and then unlock your device to see the effect. So here it is guys, as you can see, there's a full green bar underneath my notch which represents the 100% battery percentage. The bar level and color will change based on your battery percentage. You can customize this notch the way you want. Let me show you the effect while the phone is one charging. There it is guys, as you can see, my iPhone is on charging now and the notch indicator is showing pulse effect. This is really cool guys. You can also install a lot of cool themes to customize your iDevice, like this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you face any issue, just comment below and I will help you with it. However, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel first. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in next video. Till then, peace out.